A hundred years ago, we accepted a gift of a quarter of a million dollars in today's dollars uh, for a church of the white race only. And out of that tragic history, we've made a commitment to a racial justice ministry. We fund it at $50,000 a year. We made uh, a significant commitment that continues our partnership here at Third. The relationship has been uh, going on for a long time. When we acknowledged uh, openly that we know we have a, a racist history and that we know that we have a, a racist presence, I think we went from uh, a circumstance of uh, just sort of not talking about that to being explicit about it when we need to, naming what it's like for uh, a mostly white congregation to uh, come into this neighborhood, to own that there is racism embedded in all the differences between our uh, church communities and, and our neighborhoods. We've been doing mission work uh, with communities of color for a long, long time. It makes a big difference, I think, to name that the reason that that work is required is because of the racist damage that's been done. East Westwood Council and Third Presbyterian Church and Knox Presbyterian Church, that partnership has given East Westwood recreation for over 25 years. Activities are being developed as we speak. Um, and we're seeing what type of people coming to be a part of some things. Um, um, we've been getting a lot of uh, publicity with the council. They're really shining a light on our partnership and what it took to get all the stuff that, that's just going on right now. I mean, that Hope Center is another park down the street farther, and that, that mural and that garden, all that stuff was a partnership. Someone told me, you have a gift. A gift is from God. And that made me change. It made me go investigate and look into uh, uh, my purpose. It made me look into my purpose. It made me look, it made me open the Bible. <laughs> and that's everybody's moment. What made you open the Bible? Because that's where it starts. That's relationship starts. That's when you start getting your identity. That's when you start learning about you. Hearing those words, it gave me hope. And that's why the Hope Resource Center is called Hope Resource Center. And God gave us partners. He knew I couldn't do it alone. He gave us partners and identified those partners. Those partners came and we ended up in this church and more partners came. We had to demonstrate love. We had to demonstrate love big time and, and, and togetherness. And that's how it's gonna work. And that's how what we're sitting on now has been working, togetherness and love.